Hey guys, what's up? Coming up at you with another tutorial. Don't mind the black eye, little basketball, got abused. Anyway, today we got a 2011 F-150 and it's the back glass water leak issue um, that's really common in these things. The spot that it leaks is its upper corners and the uh, weather strip detaches from the glass. So you got to- I'm Wes the Auto Body Guy. After 15 years in the industry, I've decided it's time to share some of the tips and tricks I've learned along the way. So, to start off, we'll show you the attachment hardware. Uh, there's three or four different uh, bolt sizes you'll need. We got the 18 millimeter bolts here for the seats, 18 millimeter nuts at the back. Um, up here on this trim, there's a seven millimeter um, bolt in behind the little cover there, which the cover's already off. And then to hold the back glass on, there's a bunch of nine millimeters um, nuts. So if you have a little cordless Milwaukee ratchet with a short nine millimeter socket, that's perfect. You will be able to slip in behind this uh, headliner here. So anyway, we'll, we'll get started here. You gotta take the seat off. Um, side trim and then behind the seat there is a um, insulator pad that you'll need to so you can see it here to access the uh, nine millimeter nuts all along the glass all right guys so to flip this rear seat forward a little trick here is this tab here you pull up on it when the seat is latched and it releases it so it can flip forward then you can access your 18 millimeter nuts here that hold the base of the seat in. And all of this obviously is to get to the back glass. And there's your nine millimeter nuts that you're looking for. Little tip here guys, there's a nine millimeter that holds the back glass and it's behind this uh, car seat strap. And we got a 10 millimeter here that holds that in. So FYI, as you can see, this is the mounting areas for the 18 millimeters all along the bottom. Um, so you seat out, side trim, and then you'll be able to just pull this headliner down enough to access those nine millimeters, and then you'll pull the glass away. This is the old weather strip. Um, it's super gooey, super messy. Um, you'll pull it away, use some cleaner degreaser um, to clean the truck and the glass. And um, let's get over to the glass here. So here's the glass with the new weather strip uh, butane tape in place. Uh, let me show you what tape we're using. So it's a 5 16 speed by 15 feet, 3M window well concealer. There you go. After it's clean, you can apply that and pull this tape off here. That exposes the new rubber. Then we'll install it here on the back of the truck. That'll be sealed. Take care of the water leak. We'll be hitting the road. Alright, guys. So, before you go to all the work to put all your trim and seat back together in the back, let's head out, do a water check, see if there's any other leaks from maybe the high mount stop lamp or from the glass that we sealed. Um, but let's just check it and then put it all back together. You won't waste a bunch of time. Pro tip of the day. All right guys, we got water running and no leaks. Good? Yep, we are good. Dry as a bone. Beautiful. You're the man.